If I blow onto that, will you blow into my food and make it cooler for me to eat? Did you brush your teeth this morning? Weird. Wow. I'm Mama D. I'm the mother of the famous rap star Little Scrappy. I'm a type of mother that I'm very loving, caring, and sharing, but overprotective. That's how it is. And it's gonna always be that way. And in that order. Not really finished with it yet. And the amenities are not even in. And I don't uh, gave them a stack. I said, what y'all got? Crack smokers working for y'all? What they doing with this? They, they saying this down. And then they supposed to shellac it over and, wow. and it ain't done. Like, I just feel like a motherfucker gonna bent me the over. So, me like no goddamn grease. How the fuck you gonna pimp a pimp? Tell you about my mama. It pop off, she just pop off. She don't think about it, she just go. She trained to go, TTG. When is the date for them to have everything ready? He talking about tomorrow, but you see that's not true. So well, let's just wait till tomorrow. If he don't do wow. it tomorrow, then we go holler at him. And in that order. She got this thing with the whole world against her. Like, she's still in her pimpish ways because she used to pimp and sell dope back in the day. I had to become very hardcore because I had two small kids that depended on mama to see them through. And that's what I did. Remember that conversation I said I was going to have with Earl? Yeah. I had that the other day. What? I told her I do love her, I do love Imani, you know, I'm trying to, you know, make that work, but it's like a lot of irritating stuff she do. She wants a family unit, and I can't blame her on that part. She had a mother that didn't raise her that was on crack cocaine, so people in life try to go after things that they were denied or didn't have when they were growing up, but she can't make you give that to her. You know, because... No, nah, but especially if she don't act like she want it given to her. She act, She does. No, nah, she don't act like it. She can't even... She don't even know how to be affectionate. You feel me? So it's like, how you... Yeah, because she never had that mother's love, that love that I give you. Affectionate don't have nothing to do with your mama. Baby. When you find somebody that wasn't raised by their mother, they tend to not see things exactly the way, you know, that my kids were raised. At the end of the day, when this broke out between you and Dima, Erica stepped in. So she's there for you. Y'all dated for a few years, and then y'all separated. You got down with Diamond, with that goddamn You know what I'm saying? When in actuality, the bitch don't need a record deal. She need a Massingale deal. When it was thinking like it was. Scrappy loved herself some Diamond. She made me feel like I should have came out of early retirement. I should have took that bitch to the track, you feel me? So I get some money off that ass since Scrappy paid for that ass. Don't with my bam babies. Now you have made me mad. Now I'm reliving this And in that order, maybe a lot of parents say, like, you know, your kids are grown and, you know, let them go, but... That's what I say. Your kids are grown, let them go. And then you, you won't have so much stress on you. At the end of the day, I want you to be happy. Did that. It is what it is. Scrappy Merlot Joe. How y'all lovely ladies doing? Fine, how are you? I'm doing good. Hey man, tonight we're gonna sit down and have a little dinner, both our parents, so we can ease some things out, work some things out, put everything on the table, and nip all this crazy in the butt. I think we should break. Before we do this, you do. Oh, absolutely. Father, right now, in Jesus' name, we thank you. We come to you. We appreciate you bringing us all here together. We thank you for letting us see this day. And we thank you for the love and respect that we're going to do right now. In Jesus' name, we love you. And we praise now. Lord, touch all of us as we have this meeting. Sha la 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 la. Mm. Amen. Well, now that we got that. I'll take care. I'm gonna fix the plate. Please. And we can get things started. Yes. So they come, and I'm just like, Lord, give me strength. Like, please let this just go in the right direction. I'm trying to marry this young lady right here, and I just see a lot of negativity, you know what I'm saying, coming. What do you think is negative? It's coming from me. It's the. I don't believe theory. You know but that's I mean? my opinion. That don't mean that it's negative because it's my right opinion. That's my opinion. I'm like this. If you love Erica the way you say you do and Erica loves you the way she says she do, then it get married. 
-hmm. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. But they have to be doesn't believe because of what I've seen from you. And what have you seen? I've seen the breakups. I've seen the other women. I've seen the cheating. She never told you the positive stuff. Recently? 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 Hey. I know I messed up in the past, but you know, I don't really like how Erica Mama Mignon is really like pissing on my piss naive, my past. Like she ain't got nothing in her club. What I don't like is leaving the good part out about me. You feel me? Well, I, I know, I listen, like, as your mother, like, let me say look this. How, look how many times your mother's disrespecting me and continues, I'm still that bitch. And I'm and, a and bitch. We, bitch. And, and, and we'll remain. Bitch. Oh, and we'll remain. This. She don't know. She don't know her place. And that's what an era is right now. Oh, oh, oh. Listen. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Is Scrappy offended about my mom not believing in our love when your mama, on the other hand, is always disrespectful and calling me a bitch? I've done nothing but love and support Scrappy while putting up with her bull but enough is enough. We're here, but since you are trying to go in on me, yeah, we're really here. Because I was being respectful. I was being respectful to her. I'm being respectful No, you trying to go towards her. Has my mama called you a If I go off on my mom, I don't even want you to go off on her because it, you won't even. Mom. Never what happened. At the end of the day, mm -hmm. don't call my my wifey no bitch. You okay. feel me? And that's just real. Understood. No, that's just real. Got you. Now back to the whole situation at hand. You know what I'm saying? If we mother, mm -hmm. all us mother mm -hmm. want to be disrespectful. First of all, we can I'm, be I'm not a mother, and I will never be your mother. So well, I'm no. just call him a bitch five or ten minutes ago. You no, I said if my mom. Be quiet. Who are you to tell me to be quiet? Shut your goddamn mouth. If I was Dracula, I would sink my fangs in your carotid artery and drain you for all of it, bitch. of disrespect from Mama D. She will not be in my home, sitting at my table, and continue to disrespect me like that. Goodbye, you might see well, you. Yeah, you might want well to take that ring off. Take that ring off. Take that ring off. Take that ring off. gentlemen, the judicial system has once again staged a coup. But the scales of justice, unfortunately, it's got the world off its axles. They're trying to take my son from me for no apparent reason at all. So Mama D calls everyone together for some announcement about Scrappy. I haven't spoken to Scrappy since he's went to jail, so I'm hoping everything is okay. But this royal speech? Yeah, this psycho lady's definitely topped it with that one. And with that being said, I introduce the song and present to others the Prince of the South, my son, Scrappy. Man, your boy free, I'm out, you know what I'm saying? No more bologna sandwiches, you feel me? Everything went okay, man. I dodged the bullet, you feel me? But I'm still on probation. In a couple of days, I'm supposed to hear officially whether they gonna close my case or not, but man, all that, man. Tonight, man, I'm finna drizz naive and have a good time, man. Okay. Excuse me, y'all. Yeah, Am I happy that Scrappy's out of jail? For the sake of your money? Yes. And I thank God for that. But me and Scrappy need to talk, because he needs to hear it from me, not his raggedy ass mama, that I decided to pawn the ring. It's your situation and all. Just wanted to let you know that I pawned the ring, the engagement ring. You said what? I pawned the engagement ring. You was locked up. I didn't know what the circumstances would be. Didn't know when you would get out. So I had to make sure.
sure financially that me and money were gonna be straight. So you part the ring. Like the ring don't mean nothing? I mean, like you said a lot of stuff when you proposed to me. You can't take three steps forward and then continue to take those three or four steps backwards. That's not progressing in a relationship. I ain't gonna need lie, it, it hurt, you know what I'm saying? It hurt cause you pun TV, you know what I'm saying? You pun stuff that you can get back real quick, you feel me? The ring though, something you could probably work out. You, you can't work nothing out when it's a continuous thing. So, so what's the point of me keeping a ring or holding on to something that doesn't wanna be held on to? I ain't with that now, when I bought that ring, I couldn't wait to put that on her finger, you know what I'm saying? And I was more excited about making us a family, you know what I'm saying, and making us whole, you know? By her selling the ring, it just made me know that she is an ungrateful person. So I say, hey, I'm not even messing with the whole conversation. I'm done with it, you know? Because you're trying to chump me off. Done with that shit, man. Uh-uh. Trying to make a bad and punk him out, we're not doing Because mama didn't raise no Punk. Hey, let me get a shot. And he don't a talk no punk. Let me get a shot of What's she talking about? Nothing. Because ain't nobody finna punk him out. She ain't talking about that. See, that's what I'm talking about. She ain't talking about that. She ain't talking about that. I am talking about she something. Talking about that. If you're doing she ain't talking about that. If you're doing that, I'm punk him out. Where been did it? Come on, why you? She ain't talking about that. That insensitive bitch Erica had to strike again, her and her mama. Do you really think I'm finna let her stage a coup? Away with them bitches. Away with them bitches. Smoke a straight shooter, bitch, because that's what you can get from me. Hey, man, hold on. is you thinking about me, yo? I know y'all think I'm gonna let you hit Mom Dukes, right? So I just held it back. And then Erica tried to foul for me. Like, what is you doing? So I had to get up off me, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no punching bag. And then with her crazy ass heels, you feel me? She gonna fall down out of nowhere, you know what I'm saying? Shoot across the room. You know, like I did something. I ain't did nothing. She was trying to punk him out. But you gonna punk my son, bitch. What Scrappy needs to do is stay close to the woman that always have his back. Forever, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of the mall? That would be me, Queen Mama D. I'm that ride or die, mother f I'ma hold this kingdom and palace together, you heard? So it looks like all the people of the kingdom have all gathered around to witness the marriage of the king and queen. My beautiful daughter Jasmine has showed up at the last minute. My beautiful granddaughter Princess Imani has also showed up for the queen. But I don't understand why the prince ain't showed up to escort me down the royal aisle. It appears that Scrappy has once again run a f***ing muck in the palace. Your guy isn't here. We're going to need you to... Walk Mama D down the aisle. I just need to be escorted. Okay. I really didn't want to walk her down the aisle with that polka dot shirt on. Uh, you know, I'm a man about it. I'm, you know what? We got to do it. Let's go. Him not be there for me is just a travesty. It's a miscarriage of justice. It's like going against all the palace principles. I have no idea where Scrap is. I've called him. I cussed him out. No, it's just all up to him. We cannot hold up this wedding any longer. Family, just go get in so place. You go back in place? Yes, or? go get in place. You ready? I told Bam, I'm coming to the wedding, boo. I just got a little held up, you know what I'm saying? Just hold my hand like this? Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, oh, man, boy. What's okay, happening, man? Good. Oh. So can I go back to my seat? Uh, no? Thank Ooh. you. No matter what, I love my mama, so I'm here. And the real fact that Mom Dukes took Erica out of her bridal party, that let me know how important this is to her. Boy, if I can get a belt out, I'd whoop your behind. Oh. Yes, God, yes, I would. It's your day. Exactly. Are we ready? Hark! 
I hear horns. The way those horns go, let's just say, they need beheading. But I don't care. My son is to my right hand. And my daughter, Jasmine, she's my bridesmaid. And when I look up, I see the man of my dreams. I'm about to remarry my king. Everything is right with the world. The hemisphere and the moons are revolving in order. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the sight of God to unite this man and this woman together in holy matrimony. If there be anyone here that has any justifiable cause why these two should not be lawfully joined together in holy matrimony, speak now or forever hold your peace. Who is it that gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. But hold on for a second. If I'm giving you my mom, make her a better person, I want her to always be happy. And most of all, I want her to stay out of my business. OK? Amen, Daryl. I love you, my son. Since Scrappy was crawling around in diapers, he has always pushed my last nerve. And today, he has pushed me to the limit. But in the end, I'm so grateful that both of my kids are here. Hi, how are you? I was fine until I walked through the door. So I walk in now. I see Dale up to my right. Then I look across the table. There go Perlene, Shirley, Earlene, and Rashida. Baby, I wanted some goddamn eggs, not no rotten ones. And it seems like me, my son, and my husband's up to something once wow. again. Wickle tree is this in the palace. And mm. the feeling is mutual. Come on, y'all. We're not gonna have that book. I'm right not now. gonna do this. So okay. we're gonna be really nice. We have a nice little spread here. Deb was not there. No, so. she wasn't, but I gave her a full oh, fledged she did front tell row me damn seat rundown. She but did. I know where you were. You were in court. And you had my back. And you had my son's back. Oh, don't That's start that. That is old. Wow. Scrappy and I, we had a little difference. Me and him and Kirk have all come together. The only thing that didn't happen was you two. Um, and we just thought that if we bring y'all together and have Deb bring y'all to y'all senses because y'all ain't acting right. Rashida done hit me up talking about let's do this. Talking about let's trick our moms to get together to make peace. Now, either we finna kick off the most amazing peace summit Oh, it's finna go down to World War III. When Rashida told me what had happened in the store with the, the bird nest and the straw, I just couldn't get that. She should have called her and asked her, was she busy? Could she see her somewhere else or anything but come in the store acting a fool? Now, you know I wasn't gonna tolerate that. So, yeah, wah, 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 wah. I told you then, and I'll tell you again. I'm if you had sat in your nest and overlooked your egg, maybe she would have turned out better. She's the one that was on, should have been sitting on the nest and still trying to talk about me and my child. I mean, I don't know. Mama D sitting at the table, sprinkling around a feather like she finna voodoo somebody. Don't nobody have time for that. Did you take your medication today? No, I didn't. That's just like that damn mess. I didn't know if one of them girls had some voodoo dolls in their purses, but one thing I had in my purse, I had a feather. And I had to spray it with sage. So, um, da da lee, um, da da lee, I had to clear all the evil spirits. If I can't talk, can you talk to him? Why is he here? Because he's like, my husband. Who? Oh, is, is that, that your husband? husband? Oh. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, well, he don't do what he wanted, but he needs to do, but he's right on time, just like Jesus here. You need prayer, Ma. You need prayer, Ma. Okay, uh, since she won't tell you, I'm going to tell you. Got got your goddamn wife has a serious problem with alcohol. She drinks Are you talking about alcohol? Mama D ass? It's crazy. And now her husband's saying she has a drinking problem. Now that would explain a whole lot. Because you're going to put off my Listen, stuff. I'm just saying. For real. And then you need right. lubricant. Can I get you on the get <laughs> I know you uh, 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 I'm sitting right here like, that's like disrespectful to your child. You feel me? Like, I don't think you should be saying that in front of me. TMI, TMI. How long, mom? Like, be quiet. Like, you shut up. You got me in this boy. Listen. Oh hell, this thing is out of control. There's some deeper problems flowing on over here. Mama G's frustrated. She's sexually goddamn frustrated. 
So ain't nothing we could do about this. Let's Let's do this. Baby, Mama D, you did not take in responsibility for your own actions. Good that you say that, what? Princess Rashida. I'm not a princess, I'm just Rashida. in your shop had you not showed up. Mm. Wow. Well, first of all, no, he told you not oh, to do God. none of that, first mm. of all. Okay, and so just we... like Scrappy said, that's why all his relationships be messed up. So you trying to take it out on me because bam, the bam not around? Earth to Mars. Lord. I'm very happy to know that they're not getting along because Bambi just went on a date with my nephew. With Chaz Gotti. Wow. Yeah, they just went Did on you the know date. that? Nah. And all this craziness and stuff going on around me and shit, man, and then out the blue, I'm hearing Bambi dating somebody. Man, I wasn't expecting to hear that. And then I honestly don't know how I feel about it. And all I can think about right now is, wow, Miss Deb know, so I wonder who else know this info. Did you know about this Bambi date thing? I did. But I don't want to get in y'all. You should have said something. You was friends. No, like a sister. You don't have to say anything. I think you should say something. I think you should say something. The thing is, she is not a starter. So that's why she kept her mouth shut. She's not a star, but guess what? She's not a team player. That's, that's not being. Sure. That's not being a team player. Uh, I'm getting ready to go. So listen, listen. I'm getting ready to go. No, listen. Let's go. I was just Oops. trying to. Oh, Perlene, clean it up. You clean Perlene. it up. Mama D over here acting like the witches of East Atlanta. Girl, you tripping, but I tell you what you do need to do. Get on your broom and shoo your way up out of here. I, I love you, Deb. I love and everything. you, All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I felt so bad. Oh, what's going on, little lady? I don't know what's going on. You done moved all the way out here. No man's land, and this one right here, can't make a move without him. Where's my grandson? He's right in here. Boo. Mm -hmm. Look what the palace popped in. Oh, yes. Yeah. What's up, Bam? Hey. I'm going to let y'all talk. I got to go make some calls, all right? Okay. Don't go too far. The queen is back, but all is not well in the palace. Y'all know I've lived and really experienced a lot. And yeah, I do like to drink a lot. Last month, as a result of my drinking, a kidney stone ruptured my bladder in the middle of the night, and an infection in my blood led to a life and death situation, and I was rushed straight to the emergency room. I've had three surgeries, one surgery after another, and unfortunately, I'm not out of the woods yet. I have one more surgery that I have to uh, endure. This will be the fourth one. I will want you guys to be there. Okay. I'm definitely gonna be there. I'm still fighting an infection that almost cost me my life. It has been so overwhelming to go and have all these things done to me. It's just too much. Y'all my world. Well, just really? keep being strong. And don't pick up no bottles. You can't do no drinking. Like, you gotta let that drinking all the way go. For the doctor to say, if you didn't come that week, you would have been dead. I mean, you say it all the time, you ain't got number one more. Now I knew Mom dude was good with the wine and the liquor and all that. But at the end of the day, man, she never would admit that she was an alcoholic. But now that the body's shutting down and she's having problems and she's sitting inside of the emergency room so damn often about this <laughs> maybe this will calm my ass down. I got this thing just cause, you know, I need to be checking on you, you know what I'm saying? What is that? It's a whole little test, you know what I'm you saying? You got a breathalyzer for yeah, your mom? Yeah, breathalyzer. Really scrap? If I blow into that, will you blow into my food and make it cooler for me to eat? Did you brush your teeth this morning? Weird. Hmm. So wait. Wait patiently. It says zero. So you haven't had any, not even wine. Nothing. Not even wine. Because I love you, you, you. Oh, I'm proud of you. My mom. I love you, lady. Good job, mom. Yeah, how you feel now? I, I feel blessed. Tell me how that feels. Even though I'm getting more and more like myself, this plastic surgery and this pain, it is something else. But I got these beautiful flowers, and I can only imagine who sent them. Nurse Bay is on the way. Surprise. 
Rapper was the last person I thought I was gonna see at my door. But of course, I'm happy to see my son. Come in. <laughs> my prince is living his best life in Miami, and I can only see him every now and then. But I should've known he was gonna find his way back to his mama so he can check on me and see how I was doing. Why you dread like that? I thought you were somebody else when you came in, so that's why I'm looking sexy. Cause KK brought up with Nurse Bay, so I thought he was doubling back on me. You need to double back in the bed. You said you still here, like, what are you I know I'm hurting, but it don't matter. Make him work the soreness out. Man, I left my mama alone for a little bit, shout out. And I come back and mama done got the nips up, you know what I'm saying, cut up, you know what I'm saying? Doctor got them ripped up all kind of damn way. I'm like still recuperating. I feel it, the tightness. Why you just can't be like a regular grandmother? I have a husband, don't pay me no attention. I just want to move back in. He's trying to portray to me like he's straightened up. He don't need no rehab, and he want to move back. I slipped like it's a bad idea for him to be moving back in like that. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got his mind right. You're going to have to do something different about this situation. Now, you know Ernest done had his struggles in the past, and it's definitely unfortunate. But at some point, Ma Deuce got to be aware that she got to be on happiness. And this marriage thing may not be working. But meanwhile, you boy have been happier than ever, man. Especially in my relationship, Jack. You feel me? You know, I'm sorry for not being around. I've been down in Miami trying to get some stuff right. Thank you for putting your wife first. Because I raised a man, not a boy. I did feel a certain kind of way, y'all, when y'all eloped, and I wasn't invited. Nobody was invited. You know, like, me and her, we never really had no, like, us time. So we did the whole elope thing and calm down. And the preacher that actually did it is her own pastor. We had our little moment with just me, Bam, and the pastor, and I held her. And I told her how much I loved her and how I felt about her. And I was just telling her what we going to do. Uh, I was in Miami, and I swear my heart was heavy. It was a strong pain and a strong sense of urgency to go holler at the Bam. But she wasn't with it, you know what I'm saying? She said, if you want to be back with me, you got to come better than you ever have before. So I went on a whole mission, Operation Find the Band. And guess what happened after that? I snatched my old lady up. I made her my wife. I just wanted to come see you, and I just need to get everything together. Got to move into another little crib and get, like, old rooms or something like that. Old rooms? For what? My baby. I'm finna have another <laughs> you know, we're trying to keep it in the low. You know, she done had a little complication like in the past, so I wanted to be calm. I'm so happy to be another glam grandmother, but you know what? My son told me, shut it down. Mom's the word. I don't know how I'm gonna keep this one under wraps. It's just a biggie right here. She wanna have a baby here, so her dog died, huh? Oh my God. I'm just excited. I'm elated. If you go crazy how you are, and then you be. I'm not gonna do that. I am on team Scrappy and Bandy. At the end of the day, I'll keep you a secret. I mean that way ever since, and you know it. Thank you. You're welcome. Tonight, I'm supposed to get all of my family together so we can talk about some important issues. Hello, hello. Wow. My monster-in-law need to be reminded that I am the queen. So I really flew her in from West Palm Beach just to remind her I run this palace. Thank you for coming out. So what's going on? You're moving back to Atlanta. Yes, I am. Why? Is that okay with you? Yes, but I have issues. Every day, you call and you say, Ernie, Ernie, come over here, Ernie, do this, Ernie, do that. Let me tell you something. When I call Ernie and ask him to do something for me, if he has something to do, he will let me know. But that. he doesn't. He puts you first. I'm going what? Home. Oh, where the band at? This is supposed to be a family function. You're so low tonight or what? Yeah, we ain't doing too good right now. Yeah, I thought about reaching out to the band. I don't think it's a good idea right now. She's still in the crib. I'm homeless, living in hotels and Now, ain't no dinner that Mon Dukes can throw can change anything going on right now. Bro, I see tears in your eyes. What's happening? Oh, no, nah, I, mean, I ain't gonna lie. Like, you know, that's my love. We ain't seeing eye to eye right now. Of course, I help if you need me to, but I don't want to overstep my boundaries.
No, she wouldn't want to be like me. No, I and sure she, She's yeah. accusing me of overstepping mine. <laughs> but he don't tell me his business. Ernest, do not tell me everything. Okay, but listen, yes he do. Because guess what I heard you say on the speakerphone? You said, I'm sick of D. And I'm like, sick of D and D paying all the bills? That hurt me. And there's a woman, you should tell him, son, that's your wife. So you, you don't took tell her. me what to tell my son. Okay. D was a bit out of line. My mom handled Mama D's very well. And I think that D has met a match. But D is the type of person that steps on your feet and then expect you to say, excuse me. With that being said, I have bought you a gift. Now, when Ma Duke get to pulling out party favors and stuff like that, all I know is either finna be a prize fight or some hurt feelings, y'all. But either way, finna go left. Here's your pacifier. You can put that in his mouth and you can change his diaper. And here's your one. Because all you do is take, take, take. And I got you a new t shirt, take, take, take at gmail.com. I'm out of here. I'm sure it'll fit. You got to be kids. Yes. <laughs> what in the world? Hey, yo, it's Safari. Listen, thanks for watching. And you are now tuned in with the brand new Love and Hip Hop YouTube. All right? Subscribe. Click it. There's a button right there. Hit it right there. And subscribe, all right? Cheer it!